I oh, was, did you? A, yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm one of those people. Did you? I saw it once, but I, wow. mean, I mean, I liked it. I didn't like cool. it that much. Okay. She trumps us both. Chief Meteorologist Tom <laughs> Sorrells joins us now. You really have stuff in the tropics going it's weird, on. weird, right? isn't it? Yeah. Now, this is one of those things that I talk about a lot that is interesting but not important. Because okay. for you, it's never going to be a player in your forecast. But it's really interesting because any time we get something in the tropics, we focus on it. We do have a tropical storm, Otto, that developed today. If you'll think back to last week, I kept showing this area down here, all the way from Nicaragua, Costa Rica, north of Panama, south of Jamaica. It was a broad area of low pressure. Well, now the Hurricane Center has decided that it is a tropical storm. This is a tropical storm, Otto, wind speeds of 50 miles per hour. Movement is basically stationary, but the path to projected movement, the forward movement of the storm is going to bring it almost due west. So on this path, it goes right in here, right along the borderline between Nicaragua and Costa Rica sometime Thursday afternoon as a Category 1 hurricane. Bad news for the folks down there, but great news for us, never a player in our forecast. Radar tonight is clear as it can be, nothing echoing back, and really, not looking for anything for days on end. Future cast is going to try to squeeze out a scattered shower or two but I don't think most of that's going to happen. Daytime high today was 68 in Gainesville, 70 in the villages to Ocala, and 69 from Orlando down to Kissimmee. Right now we're at 62 degrees in Orlando, but check out that humidity. Man, is it dry, and does it feel great when you step outside. Temperature reading in Orlando, 62. Melbourne, 61. Leesburg right now, 57 degrees. It's 57 in Ocala, 52 in Gainesville, 63 in Cocoa Beach, and 64 in New Smyrna. Wind in Orlando is from the northwest at 5 miles per hour. Satellite and radar together. We have no cloud cover tonight. That will start to change as we work our way towards Thanksgiving. Now, tonight, we're good. Overnight lows tonight will be close to where we were last night, but not as chilly. Cloud cover does begin to return a little bit tomorrow. And when it does return, Futurecast wants to throw in the green stuff, little bitty dots representing rain. I don't believe there's going to be any rain tomorrow. I think we stay dry. Overnight lows tonight, 36 Ocala, 45 in Sanford, 55 Cocoa Beach, and 46 in Orlando. Here's tomorrow. Your forecast brought to you by Del Air Heating and Air Conditioning. By lunchtime tomorrow, we're back to 71. The daytime high is 76, so we do warm up quickly. Here's the week ahead. 76 does it for a daytime high tomorrow. We warm quickly. Daytime high on Sunday. Excuse me, Wednesday will be sunny in 78. On Thursday, the daytime high hits 80. Come Friday, 80. And then another cold front for Saturday and Sunday, but not much of one. The daytime highs are still in the upper 70s. At the beach on Turkey Day. You go. Mm. I like it. <laughs> Thanks, Tom.